The grief, overwhelming. We lose about two kids a year. Far too many times, we hear families plead for the public's help. We just want answers. We just want justice. Yet, even in the most heartbreaking crimes, there's silence. Oftentimes, we are unable to pursue justice, unable to prosecute someone because no witnesses will come forward. Shelby County District Attorney Amy Wyrick says it's a problem. People not coming forward with critical information to help law enforcement solve a crime. They've tried to tempt the public, but in some cases, even a $20,000 reward for information in a child's murder isn't enough. WREG investigators uncovered data from the Memphis Police Department showing 700 homicides have been solved between 2017 and 2021. As of February, more than 500 have not. Back on that. Police have repeated one tip may be all that they need to solve a case. But as we've reported, some believe a street coat is getting in the way. We've got to get rid of this no snitch policy. A policy that encourages people to not cooperate with officers when a crime occurs. Sometimes they're afraid of retaliation or they may not trust law enforcement. I wondered why our community was so quiet while blood flowed on our streets like rivers. Last summer, Dr. Bill Atkins of Greater Amani Church took issue, donating $10,000 to help the DA's office launch a new program called 901 RAP which stands for Witness Relocation and Assistance Program. The purpose is to move victims and witnesses to a safer location. Whether that is moments after a crime has occurred or right now while a case is pending in the criminal justice system and perhaps a victim or victim's family is being threatened, intimidated. Wyrick says in the past her office has provided assistance on a small scale. Now, the Shelby County Commission threw in $150,000 to the fund. They spent the last few months hashing out details, forming a team that will be on call 24-7 to assess each case. We've built all that internally, and then we had to turn to training the Memphis Police Department. Wyrick told us over the last couple of weeks, police at every precinct received training during roll call, as well as Shelby County deputies. As of today, she says 901 RAP is underway. She says it's all voluntary, and once the relocation happens, they will connect the witness or victim and their families to the services they need. You know the justice system moves slow, so mm -hmm. how long can you offer that housing? Well, and that's really gonna have to be on a case-by-case -case basis, and it's gonna depend very much on the resources. Resources like funding. In California, the state sets aside money for its witness relocation program, and counties also contribute. Those counties with similar populations as Shelby County spent about 100000 in the fiscal year of 2018-2019. That same fiscal year, the program in California opened 149 new cases statewide, helping 159 witnesses and their families, and in turn got testimony against 355 violent offenders and mostly gang-related and high-risk crimes. The Department of Justice has encouraged witness relocation programs like 901 RAP, according to this report, stating the stop snitching message often takes hold because people don't think the justice system can protect them. People will be willing to cooperate if they feel safe. If we can make witnesses to crime feel a little bit more comfortable reporting what they know, that helps law enforcement solve cases and make arrests. Jessica Gertler, WREG News Channel 3. The DA says right now their biggest obstacle is funding. Now, if you would like to help their efforts, you can head to our website and click on this story. By the way, tomorrow, Wyrick and Dr. Adkins will be holding a press conference about 901 RAP. We'll be there and we'll let you know what happens.